The North Island of New Zealand is one of the most volcanically active places on Earth. It's home to the Taupo supervolcano, which produced the most violent eruption of the last 5,000 years. What makes this region so explosive? This is the Taupo Volcanic Zone, a geological conveyor belt of creation and destruction. The Taupo Volcanic Zone, or TVZ, is a 300-kilometer-long, 50-kilometer-wide gash in the Earth's crust that stretches across the heart of New Zealand's North Island. It is a land of simmering mud pools, explosive geysers, and a chain of massive caldera-forming volcanoes. This is the most productive region of rhyolitic volcanism on the planet, meaning it is a factory for producing the most viscous, gas-rich, and explosive type of magma. The engine that drives this volcanic factory is the process of subduction. To the east of New Zealand, the Pacific Plate is diving beneath the Australian Plate. As the Pacific Plate sinks into the mantle, it carries water with it. This water is released into the overlying mantle wedge, which dramatically lowers its melting point. This process, known as flux melting, generates vast quantities of magma. This magma then rises through the continental crust of the North Island. As it does, it melts and incorporates some of the crust itself, becoming even richer in silica, which makes it incredibly thick and sticky. The feeling of this viscous, gas-charged magma slowly accumulating in massive chambers deep beneath the ground is the feeling of a colossal explosive eruption being built. The history of the Taupo Volcanic Zone is a history of cataclysm. The entire zone is pockmarked with calderas, the sunken remnants of past super eruptions. The most famous and most powerful of these is the Topo Caldera itself. Around 26,500 years ago, it was the site of the Oruanui super eruption, one of the largest and most violent eruptions of the last 70,000 years. This event ejected over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, burying the North Island in a thick blanket of ash and pumice, and creating the massive caldera that is now filled by Lake Taupo, New Zealand's largest lake. The sound of this colossal explosion, a blast that would have been heard across the entire region and that sent an ash cloud spreading across the southern hemisphere, is almost impossible to imagine. But Taupo wasn't finished. After the Oruanui eruption, the magma chamber began to refill around 1,800 years ago. In approximately 232 AD, it erupted again in what is known as the Hate Hatapi eruption. While much smaller than the Oruanui super eruption, the Hatipe eruption was arguably the most violent eruption anywhere on Earth in the last 5,000 years. It produced a Plinian eruption column that is estimated to have reached 50 kilometers into the sky, and its pyroclastic flows were so energetic and mobile that they overtopped mountain ranges and devastated an area of over 20,000 square kilometers. The ash from this eruption turned skies red as far away as China and Rome. Today, the Taupo Volcanic Zone is still very much active. It is a region of constant unrest. The ground is deforming, rising and falling as magma moves deep below. Swarms of small earthquakes are a common occurrence, and the entire area is a geothermal wonderland, with famous sites like Rotorua and Waimangu showcasing the immense heat that lies just beneath the surface. New Zealand's GNS Science Agency maintains a dense network of monitoring instruments across the TVZ, including seismometers, GPS stations, and gas sensors to keep a close watch on this restless giant. The quiet, steady stream of data from these instruments is the modern heartbeat of the volcanic zone, a constant checkup on a very active patient. The most recent period of significant unrest at Taupo occurred in 2022, 
when a swarm of over 700 small earthquakes and a measurable amount of ground deformation led scientists to raise the volcanic alert level for the first time in its history. While this unrest did not lead to an eruption and has since subsided, it was a stark reminder that the supervolcano is not extinct, but merely sleeping. The primary hazard in the Taupo volcanic zone today is not necessarily another massive super eruption, which is a very low probability event on human timescales. The more immediate threats are smaller eruptions from one of the many active vents in the zone, or the ever-present risk of hydrothermal explosions, where superheated groundwater can flash to steam with explosive force, as was tragically seen in the 2019 eruption at Waka'ari, White Island. The Taupo Volcanic Zone is a natural laboratory for studying the most extreme processes of continental volcanism. It is a place where the full power of the Earth's interior is on dramatic display. It is a landscape that has been shaped and reshaped by cataclysmic forces, a beautiful but dangerous land that serves as a constant reminder of the immense power that is simmering just beneath the thin crust of our planet. If you are captivated by the science of the world's most powerful and active volcanoes, consider following for more in-depth reports.